Hello viewers, welcome back. So as part of our series of session under the playlist of tally data management, in the last couple of sessions, we understood how important is backup and also we learned how we can take backup of tally data. We also learned in the previous session that in case if the data gets corrupted, how you can quickly rewrite the data using Tally's repair option in Tally Prime. We also learned just in case if we are not able to recover the data or repair the data, then how we can restore the backup that we have taken already, which is the latest backup. So as part of this series, in this session, we will also understand that how Tally helps the user to export the data in various third-party applications. So we will see what are the kind of reports or data that we can export it for external consumption. Let us go to Tally and learn these options of exporting data in various file formats. Let us now take a simple use case. Let's say that you have to now submit your financial statements to the bank. Now, instead of printing it and then submitting it, you can always now submit it online by exporting the report in PDF format. So how are we now going to export the financial statement in PDF format? Let us go into the balance sheet report. So the balance sheet is already selected. I'm just going to press enter. And you are aware that by default, Tally is going to give condensed information. Now to view it in the detail format, you know the keyboard shortcut that is Alt F5. When you press Alt F5, you will now see the balance sheet in the detail format. Now this information is what we are going to export. Now if you notice here, you have this ledger called equipments where some transaction has happened in this and the current closing balance of this particular fixed asset item is zero. Now, it might look odd if you are going to print with the report where a certain ledger or a group having a zero balance. Tally takes care of uh, these requirement Whenever you are printing or exporting any report, the zero values of the ledger balance or the group balance will not get printed. So how are we now going to export to PDF format? If you notice here on the top menu, we see this option called export. So click on export and by default, the cursor is going to the current, which means we are going to export the current report that we are viewing. So select and enter. And this is what is your export configuration. Now let us quickly understand what are the different file format that Tally supports to export your information. Come to your secret number one, which is your right hand side button bar. And here you will find this option called file format where the keyboard shortcut is F8. So click on file format. Now these are the various file formats that Tally supports to export your data or report. We will understand these reports in the upcoming sessions. In today's session, we will understand how to export in PDF format and JPEG format, which is very simple. So the PDF format is already selected. Enter and Tally also supports digital signature to be incorporated into your reports. In the upcoming sessions, we will also discuss about the digital signature. So currently we will leave this as not applicable. And if you notice, this is very important. So one, it says the file format that you have selected is PDF read only format, export to local drive. You are exporting to your system. By default, Tally will create a folder where the data can be exported and stored. But as a user, if you want to change the default location that Tally provides, you can always go and do so. And the file name by default Tally gives the 
file name with the dot extension of the file format now if you want to change anything let us say you want to change the folder path or you want to change the name of the file then you will go to configuration so click on configure and you will see these configurations coming here and this is where you have your export setting the file format we have selected as pdf export local drive and folder path is d export you can enter here and then we have seen in the previous session how you can go and change the path or specify the path the file name it already says that it is balance sheet.pdf we can leave it as it is and then you don't have to save this all you can do is just press escape now the cursor is under send so when you click on send it is going to now save the file in the export folder and the moment it saves it will also open the pdf file and display it so i'm going to click on send and here we have our balance sheet in the pdf format if you notice here the equipment ledger which was blank is not getting printed here now this can be directly mailed to the recipient let us quickly export the profit and loss account statement also to go to profit and loss account the easiest way is come to your profit and loss account and press enter and again let us press alt f5 to view the report in detail format alt f5 here if you notice there are a lot of ledgers where there are blank values for example under sales account you have service charges which is blank and then you have a group called calculation group under direct income which is blank and if you come here on the purchase side you will notice that these three rate wise purchase ledger that have been created is blank here similarly you have a ledger called freight charges and a subgroup under direct expenses which is appropriate group where the balances are nil so let us export this and then view our profit and loss account and see whether these blank values are getting eliminated so quickly come to export or you can press alt e click here and then the current report is what we want to export and these we have already specified tally by default it also gives the name as p and l pdf so everything seems to be fine so let us now export this i'm going to click on export you will now notice that under purchase account there is only one ledger purchases where there is value the service charges ledger under sales account is also not getting printed here and under direct expenses you don't have any information that are getting printed here let us now see whether these files are getting saved so you can go to your export folder and you will see here the profit and loss account and the balance sheet files are there where you can access them any time later on one more technique that you can use is if we notice here there is this group called direct expenses but then there is there are no ledgers under that or no values for direct expenses it looks a little bit odd here question is can i eliminate this group also yes you can do it in tally so how are we going to do this all you need to do is come back to tally here and you will see this main group subgroup and the ledger all of them do not have any value so what you are going to do put the cursor on the group or the ledger so important thing that you have to remember here is that you can remove only at the top level the ledger information or the group information in this case if you notice we have this main group called direct expenses under that we have appropriation group and freight charges so you cannot remove a subgroup or a ledger under a group for you to remove a line you have to remove the line at the primary level which is the direct expenses here so put your cursor under direct expenses and if you come down to your secret number 1 which is your bottom button bar you will see here this option called remove line the keyboard shortcut is control r once you have selected you can press control r or click on remove line now you will see the direct expenditure group is hidden important thing to remember when you are removing a line you are not deleting it you are only hiding it the other file format that we will see quickly is the jpeg format so let us go to export 
click on current and then now we have to change the file format so how are we going to change the file format either you can go to configure and then change it the easiest way is come to your right hand side button bar you will see the file format click on file format and then you click on jpeg image let us understand why anybody wants to export their report in jpeg format which is basically an image format see pdf there are possibilities that the data can be tampered with or the information that you are providing can be modified or tampered with so the jpeg is like uh, taking the picture of your report where unlikely anybody is going to meddle with the data so that is the idea of providing you another file format of jpeg image so again you're going to select jpeg image and then we are going to say send you will see this report now in the jpeg format so you will see the file name with the extension of .jpg and the same information is also getting saved under your export folder with the file name and the extension changing to jpg in this session we learned simple export format that tally provides to export your data in third party software for external consumption we saw two types of file format one is pdf and jpeg in the next session we will also see how you can export the data from tally to an excel file and use that information for further analysis so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much